and my dad have always been into dirt bikes and off-roading vehicles. Almost every night you could find us on our phones looking on Craigslist and various other websites for a good deal. One night we both had the idea of looking on Letgo, so quickly we both downloaded the app. While we were both searching for a motorcycle, my dad stumbled across an amazing steal. It was a 250cc dirt bike for only 750 bucks, which is really good considering that this brand usually went for 1500 My dad offered the man 600 instead, and without hesitation, the man accepted, which worried me. I told my dad that it didn't seem right, as the price was really low and he didn't seem to care that he wanted a bargain, and that there were no visible problems with the bike. Though I tried to talk my dad out of it, his heart was set in stone and he went that night to go pick up the bike. I came along with him. On the original listing, the address for the pickup was just down the road, about five minutes away. But the seller messaged us and told us to meet him in a parking lot about 20 minutes away, which at the time we didn't seem to take note of this. As we were driving out to the location, things got weird. The man now changed his mind on the location and told us to meet him at his house, in a part of town that isn't the best, which is about an hour away from our house. This is where I started to worry, but as my dad was trying to save money, we went anyway. Once we arrived at his neighborhood, we quickly realized that there were no street lights and it was about 10 p.m. We were driving through the neighborhood looking for the address, but the house number simply didn't exist. It seemed that it was skipped, So my dad being determined, he parked and started messaging the seller. Deep down inside, I was freaking out. Once we were parked, two sketchy looking vans filled with men pulled up, one in front of us and one behind us. I quickly realized what was happening. My dad didn't. My heart sunk as I saw the doors open and sketchy looking men dressed all in black emerged and were staring at us as if they were planning something. My dad was still messaging the seller. The text went something like this. Dad. Hey, we're here at the location, but we can't find the house number. Seller. I know. I gave you a fake address. I'll be out there right now. Once I saw the text, I put my hand on my dad's arm and said, This isn't right. It's sketchy. I think this is a setup. That was when my dad came to his senses and we left. We pulled out of the neighborhood and thought we were safe, but one of the cars that was parked next to us in the neighborhood started following us. Luckily, it was a long drive home and a lot of time to lose them. We were driving for what seemed like forever and we finally lost the car, I hoped. I explained to my dad that it was a setup and they were probably going to rob us or even worse. Luckily, we got home safely, but it could have ended badly. The next night, I saw on the news that a man was robbed and killed while buying a motorcycle off of the same app at the same location. As cliche as it sounds, I genuinely felt sick when I heard that, as I felt as that could have been us. We could have been killed and robbed. Ever since that incident, I deleted that app and haven't touched it since.